Former Trump campaign aide Sam Nunberg has been called before the grand jury, now says he will refuse to go and says he'll refuse to cooperate with handing over any documents. Uh, Sam, you join me on the phone. Are you there? Hi, Katie. How are you? Why are you saying no? Because what they sent me was absolutely ridiculous. They wanted every email I had with Roger Stone and with Steve Bannon. Why should I hand them emails from November 1st, 2015? I was thinking about this today, Katie. I was preparing it. Should I spend 50 hours going over all my emails with Roger and with Steve Bannon? And then they wanted emails that I had with Hope Hicks, with uh, Corey Lewandowski. Are you giving me a break? It's ridiculous. Um, this is the special counsel. He's investigating Donald Trump. You He's know what? You know what, Mr. Mueller? You know, when, when you, Mr. When you, Mueller, sat, you sat with him a week ago or a week and a half ago. And, and did that make you change your opinion of this investigation that you don't want to cooperate? I'm not going to cooperate when they want me to have when they want me to come into a grand jury for them to insinuate that Roger Stone was colluding with Julian Assange. Roger is my mentor. Roger's like family to me. I'm not going to do it. What has happened in the last 24 hours you know that's, made you, that's made you change your mind on this? When I was going over everything today, when I looked at the, the, the subpoena, this was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. And you know what? I'm not a fan of Donald Trump, as you well know. Katie, do you know that? You've said it. I'm not a fan of this. He treated Roger and me very badly, and he screwed us over during the campaign. But, you know, here, when I get a subpoena like this, Roger's right. It's a witch hunt. I mean, Mr. Trump's right. The president's right. It's a witch hunt. Um, and I'm not going to cooperate. What do I have to spend... 80 hours going over my emails that I've had with Steve Bannon and with Roger Stone. What does Bob Mueller need to see my emails when I send Roger and Steve clips and we talk about how much we hate people? Sam, you were on the campaign uh, early on. You were there when Donald Trump was deciding to announce he wanted Donald to Trump run for did president. Donald Trump collude with the Russians. It is the biggest joke to ever think Donald Trump colluded with the Russians. It, 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 I can tell you, Donald Trump, when he was involved in conservative politics, did not help his business. Okay? Donald Trump did not want to attack Hillary Clinton early on in the campaign. He only wanted to attack Jeb Bush because it wasn't going to be it, it, it wasn't going to be good for him and it, had he not won the primary he was probably going to endorse Hillary Clinton. Sam, you were I'm on not this campaign going to go over my emails. I'm not going to spend 80 hours because a bunch of FBI agents and a bunch of US attorneys want me to harass me. And you know, here's the thing. They've gone off. They've already bankrupted people, Katie. They've bankrupted other people with this. They've, you know, Sean Spicer has big legal bills. Josh Rafael has big legal bills. Everybody has. Oh, what hold on, hold on, for? Sam. You were you were on our air on MSNBC just last week, saying the Russia investigation was not a waste of time. That this was not a waste of taxpayer money. It, it's a you waste were of adamant. Time. You know you what? were adamant you about that. So I, what has I, changed? I what has opinion. changed, Sam, in the in the last twenty four hours or last subpoena, week, where you've decided not to do this? When I got the subpoena, it was ridiculous to me. The subpoena is absolutely ridiculous. Why should I hand them over every email I've had with Steve Bannon or Roger Stone since November? And you know what? Since November of twenty of twenty fifteen, give me a break. Sam, what about those you know who what? might look at this and say you have me? something hey, to hey, hide, or hey, there's hey, something hey. that you don't want to reveal because now you're saying you're not going to cooperate? What if people think it looks suspicious? Let them think what they want. Let them think what they want. You know what? I'm the first person to go out here and say I'm not cooperating because it's absolutely ridiculous what they want from me. Katie, should I spend 80 hours going over emails that I've had with Steve Bannon and Donald and Roger Stone? If you're going to defy a Do grand jury subpoena, hey, Katie, are you worried about Katie. being held in contempt of court? 
Let, let's see what Mr. Mueller does. Are you worried about getting arrested? I think it would be funny if they arrested me. If you're held in contempt I think it would of court, really, wouldn't you I have think higher legal bills? It would be really, bills? really funny if they wanted to arrest me because I don't want to spend 80 hours going over emails I had with Steve Bannon or Roger Stone. Uh, Steve Bannon, Roger Stone, Hope Hicks. Who else is on the list of emails that they want from you? Oh, Car Katie, did I ever communicate with Carter Page? Do you think I communicated with Corey Lewandowski after November 1st? 2015. I mean, I would. Corey was the one who screwed me over and got me fired from the campaign. What about Keith now, Schiller? Trump, what about Michael that? Cohen? What about Donald Trump? What about those communications? I mean, for them to ask me about communications with Donald J. Trump, the president of the United States, you know, Mr. Mo that's that that is over the hill. That is too much for Mr. Mueller. To ask for. Sam, it's ridiculous. Sam, let me ask a question. Don't interrupt. Uh, you were on the campaign early on. You left early, as you just said. You said Corey Lewandowski helped get you fired. But you were there when Donald Trump was deciding whether he was going to run for president and why he was going to run for president and what sort of positions he would hold when he decided to run for president. Wouldn't the special counsel be okay. interested in finding out what you know about that time early on? Yeah, they, they asked about it. They what certainly they asked ask? about it. And it was ridiculous. What did they ask? Because I can tell you, once again, Katie, Donald Trump being involved in conservative politics was not good for his business. By the way, I think my lawyer's going to dump me right now. Why? What did they ask you about Donald Trump taking policy positions early on? They asked me if Donald Trump took positions, and he flat out told me he was taking positions because of his business. And I will tell you, he never told me that. He did not. What else have they been asking you? They asked, they, you know what they asked, which was ridiculous to me? They asked things like, did you hear people speaking Russian in the Trump office? Who? Katie, I did not hear people speaking Russian in the Trump office, okay? That's ridiculous. They Sam. asked things like, yeah. Keep, keep going. They asked things like, uh, did you hear, uh, did, you, did you hear about Trump Tower in Moscow? No, I never heard about Trump Tower in Moscow. Never heard about it once. And I can tell you, Katie, that you're not going to like to hear this. Your audience is going to like to hear this. But when Donald Trump took positions where he said that Vladimir Putin, um, that Vladimir Putin was better off fighting Syria against ISIS compared to Barack Obama, he was right. Because you don't remember this, or you don't want to talk about it, but <laughs> ISIS was chopping American heads off. And Trump was right about it. He was intuitively right about it. I don't know what I'll leave your allegations after. against me and the viewers of this network to the side. Okay, uh, but, I, but I would like to ask this. Um, a GOP primary is not, would not have been a fan of Russia or Vladimir Putin. It was not a popular opinion to be friendly towards Russia or Putin among Republicans very early on. Why is it not relevant for the special counsel to ask why Donald Trump was so friendly to Vladimir Putin early on. It confused a whole lot of people back then, and he's still pretty friendly to them. It's confusing a whole lot of people now. Well, I, by the way, Katie, I agree with you, and I think Trump has made a, big, a major mistake. I think that Vladimir Putin should face serious consequences for what he did during the election. But what I've also said to you, and I've said repeatedly, is Trump was more than... Uh, he, if, if Vladimir Putin wanted to release Hillary Clinton's emails, oh, by the way, she should have protected her emails, it's fine. It's fine to me. And if Trump wanted to get that out, and remember, you asked that question to him. You know, if Trump wanted to get those emails out, that's fine. Because she should have protected her emails. And do you think Russia was the only one who stole her emails? Do you think Russia was the only one who hacked her emails? Do you think... 
China didn't? Do you think that India didn't? Do you think that Israel didn't? Of course they did. Sam, I'm, I'm still pretty curious, since you yourself had gone on the record on our network saying that this investigation was not a waste of taxpayer money, that this investigation uh, was going along in a professional way, why you would decide to do this all of a sudden and, and why you would decide it, I imagine, well, have you seen the subpoena? Against, the advice, it you. against the advice of your own lawyer. I imagine yeah, your lawyer is telling you not me, to rip up a subpoena. Yeah, he's probably not. And so I think why Bob are you Mueller doing it? Be pretty... Because I'm not going to produce them every email I had with Steve Bannon and Roger Stone from November 1 of 2015. What do I have to produce them all my communication? Are you ready to go it's to jail? Ridiculous. I'm not going to go to jail. How do you know you're not going to go to jail? If you're held in contempt of court, you're very publicly snubbing your nose at the special counsel and this investigation. I imagine if they don't do anything for you, they would they would allow anyone else to snub their nose at this investigation. All sorts of people who are well, you know being what? interviewed or potentially would go in front of the know, grand Katie? jury. Katie, maybe people should start snubbing their nose at it because the way they're asking for communications that I had with Steve Bannon, with Roger Stone, to me is too much. They, they want me to go in next Friday, this Friday, excuse me, and they want me to go in and they want me to testify against my mentor who did nothing. He did nothing wrong, Roger. Okay? He did nothing wrong. In fact, he was treated terribly by Donald Trump. And, he, and by the way, we cost him a lot of money, Roger and me. Sam, and you know, Sam did you find an email in the last 24 hours that made you worried? An email you didn't want no, to hand over? Not at all. A text did message you didn't want to you hand question, over? By the way, into your ear. No, it's a question I came up with off the top of my head. It's a very good question. No, I did not. I did not at all. And in fact, you know what I did, Katie? I did not go over any of my emails since I've been contacted by them. And you know what the other thing, Katie, that, that really upset me was, not upset me, was I was very low on this list, okay? I got to spend 50 grand on legal fees. And I was very low on this list. And then suddenly when they called me, you know when they called me, Katie? After Michael's Wolf, a Michael Wolf's book came out. And they asked me a bunch of things in there about Roger and me after we were fired. And as you remember, when you covered that campaign, Katie, Roger and me were treated terribly. And trust me, we weren't colluding with Trump. It wasn't some smart idea that we had for us to be uh, fired, and then we were going to get the emails from Russia. If Roger and me were there, Katie, we would have had the Benghazi parents there at the first debate. We would have had Bill Clinton's illegitimate black child there at the second debate. And we would have had the women there. Sam, Sam, like hold, on. Uh, Sam, Sam hold on. Sam, hold on. What you're doing is surprising, to say the least. But you sat there in that room uh, being questioned by Mueller's investigators. I want to hear directly from you. Do you think that they have something on the president? I think they may. What? I think that he may have done something during the election. But I don't know that, for Why sure. do you think that? I can't explain that unless you were in there. Explain the atmosphere. Um, the way they asked questions about anything I heard after I was fired from the campaign uh, to the general election to even November 1, it insinuated to me that he may have done something. If you got that well sense, if you got that sense from the special counsel's investigators, why would you not want to cooperate with them if you got a sense that something because happened? Because I'm, I'm not interested in handing all my emails over that I've communicated with Steve Bannon, with other people, and with Roger Stone. I'm not, I'm not interested in it. I'm not interested in them insinuating that Roger did something bad. Sam, I want to be clear. I, yeah. I, I, I want to be clear. 
I want to be very clear. Has anybody at all contacted you in the last few days, the last 24 hours, no. to encourage you not to talk to the special counsel or to tell you not to talk to the special counsel or to give you a reason why it would not behoove you to talk to the special counsel? I decided this, Katie. I'm sorry, the grand jury. A couple hours ago. A couple hours ago. I decided this when I was going over all my emails. And I was going over how long and arduous this process was going to be. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. Why do I have to give Bob Mueller my emails, my random emails with Steve Bannon and Roger Stone? Sam, has anybody from the Trump White House contacted you? No. Has the president contacted you? No. Has anybody from Trump's legal team contacted you? No. Has Roger Stone told you not to go talk to the grand jury? No. Has Steve fact, Bannon I've told you not to go talk to the grand jury? No. Has no. anybody Steve at all Bannon, told you not to way, go talk to the grand to jury? Steve Bannon, I spoke to Steve Bannon for the first time last week after I went in there. And, the first, and I spoke to him, and Steve and I were discussing about how we both feel, Katie, like I'm telling you, that Trump may have very well done something during the election. I don't know what it is. I could be wrong, by the way. Sam Nunberg, remarkable. Thank you very much for calling in. What's remarkable about this, by the way? Everything's remarkable about it, Sam. You, you know, you called me, correct? It's all unbelievable, I'd say. <laughs> what do you think Mueller's going to do to me? I, you know, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know, but I imagine, given the circumstances, you might be held in contempt of court. Um, we'll, well see. Um, if I'm held in contempt of court, because I don't want to communicate what Roger Stone and Steve Bannon and I talked about since November 1 of 2015. It's also, it's also Keith Schiller and Michael Cohen and Hope Hicks and Corey Lewandowski and Donald Trump and Rick Gates and Paul Manafort. With, do you think I had any contact with Carter Page? Sam, do I don't know. Contact with... Sam, I don't know. Well, the um, answer is no. Sam. Thank you for calling in. It's 3 o'clock. I've got to hand things over to Casey Hunt. Um, come back live on our show tomorrow if you can. Or come back, come okay, back on our Casey, air at 5 o'clock hello, today. Okay. I'm sure she can hear you. Sam Nunberg, thank you very much.